Alyssa al Hadif's family is the first group of loved ones to undergo the painful process of saying goodbye to their daughter. She's the first of the 17 victims laid to rest. Her funeral was held this morning. Now her friends and family have gathered at Star of David Memorial Garden Cemetery and Funeral Chapel in North Lauderdale. CBS 4's Joe Murray is there for us and joins us with this family's painful story. Joan? Yeah, very painful, Elliot. Alyssa Alhadef was only 14 years old. She was one of 13, or rather 14 children to be gunned down along with a coach, an athletic director, and a teacher. That all happened on Wednesday, of course, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. And she was the first of the mass shooting victims to be buried here. There were hundreds of people in attendance at the Star of David Memorial Garden Cemetery, her family, classmates, parents, faculty, even school superintendent Robert Runcy was here. And it was a very moving tribute that lasted about an hour. Aladev was remembered as a straight A student, very focused, a skilled member of the debate team and a loving daughter. Now we spoke afterwards, just a short time ago, to the parents of a classmate uh, who said their son was in the very building where most of the shootings happened. But all our thoughts are with them, but uh, my son is also a freshman. Yeah. He, he was in the same building, and we know how the, whatever the painful we are going, and uh, our prayers are with all the families, whoever. Okay. Just very, very sad. Now, there was a huge procession, uh, hundreds of people here, as we said, and they are all headed back to uh, her home where her parents are going to meet with the mourners. Now, we also learned that this afternoon, a second victim of the shooting, the shootings, Meadow Pollock, will be buried this afternoon in Parkland. Um, one other note uh, about this particular victim, we all may have heard yesterday her mother was lashing out at the president, President Trump. Uh, asking him to do something, uh, advocating more gun control, and also advocating metal detectors at schools. We'll have much more on the services coming up beginning at 4 o'clock today. Live in North Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.